morning guys welcome back to another trucking vlog it is currently sunday and uh i don't know i was gonna drive yesterday on saturday and uh just knock it out but i woke up saturday morning i was like you know what? i'm doing my 34 now so uh yeah so we did a pre-trip this morning and we got some fuel i forgot to switch on duty fueling oh well um because I was like, I did my 34, but I started a 34 with a quarter of a tank. And so at the end of my 34, I had less than an eighth and it was like low fuel. And I was like, oh shit. So I had to get like, I think I got like 40 something gallons at the TA. And then uh, there's a loves here in 55 miles. I'm just gonna go and top her up from there. So uh, we're in Tennessee right now. We gotta go all the way down to Georgia. So I think we gotta go through North and South Carolina maybe. I'm not too sure. Um, I just know that we're stopping at a truck stop in Georgia. It's a loves. I don't even know what time we'll be there. We'll know once we get fuel because I just, I just routed me to the fuel. So I got 54 miles to get fuel. And then, um, yeah, I should have, I probably should have drove Saturday, but at the same time, it really doesn't matter. Um, because the way these weeks have been going, I haven't been working very many hours to be honest. So something keeps coming up. So gosh that was awful um so i really don't think i'm worried about my full 70 hour clock the only way i'm going to be worried is if we have like a 3,000 mile week this week but i haven't even done that here at gp it's always been like 29 2800 miles so now we're about to go up an incline so i'm going to go ahead and downshift but we'll see you guys when we stop to get fuel and probably get lunch i think this loves has an arby's so. so we drove uh 400 miles today i think we started at 10 a.m and it's five o'clock gonna pull into this loves here kind of an interesting fact i went into a loves the other day and they had a hardy's and this one has a hardy's too but i ordered curly fries and they're like she's like yeah hardy's doesn't have curly fries or uh onion rings anymore they've taken it off the menu nationwide and i thought that was insane because oh, let me just slow down a little bit like hardy's and carl's jr and stuff like other than Arby's, those are like the only places to get curly fries. So I was like, really? And she's like, yeah, we got rid of those. Which means since they got rid of onion rings, they've also got rid of that Western burger, which was like barbecue and uh, onion rings on it. But I didn't really eat that burger too much, but you know, it's still like, it's kind of crazy that they got rid of all this. We're gonna get pulled in here. We'll probably get a shower tonight, honestly feel clean again i think it's been like two or three days i don't feel like i stink though because i really haven't done too much work so <laughs> but then we got 64 miles tomorrow so that means we'll wake up about 7 30 in the morning and roll out We're supposed to be there at 8 30 for delivery this loves was supposed to have many parking spots but it looks like it's kind of getting full already i saw some spots from the uh, exit, but still, I figured there'd be more than this. It's okay though, we're not complaining. What we'll do is, I saw where those spots are, so I'll come up here and uh, if this, I, I think there's a bobtail on this one. I think I could see him. Yeah, white bobtail. So we're gonna go down here, unless that one's open. Oh, another white bobtail. So we'll go down this way. That way we can set up a sight side. But it's getting pretty full for what time it is. This is supposed to have parking all day. Oh, there's only one spot there. I thought there was two. Uh, who do we go next to? I think it's probably better if we go next to this blue one here. Because then I have a lot of room to turn it in. We gotta do a pre trip too.
out some more. And I swing under it. Looks like I can. That's how you do that right there. Look at that, nailed it. All right, so it wasn't as bad as I thought. This was super wide, so I just cut it in as, I'm sorry, my GoPro died. I wouldn't record it, but it was dead. So I cut it in super close. So I swung out wide and then I cut it in as close as I could to that grass. I think you can see my tire marks there. And then I came down as far as I could and then just kind of made like a big U-turn. You can see my tires over there go out onto the road and then I kind of like backed it in at an angle and then I had to do like a pull up and then get it in. So we're getting, we're in now, we're getting unloaded. I don't think they're gonna take too long. The guy came out and he was like, I need to see your bills cause I've never seen your company here before. I don't recognize it. He's like, you're probably at the wrong place. I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure I'm at the right spot. <laughs> and he was like, well, let me see. And he's like, oh yeah, you are. I was like, yep, yeah, I knew. I'm pretty good like that. I've only missed one churn so far being a truck driver and that was literally the other day when I picked or delivered the load before this one. I can't believe I missed that churn. I told Cornell it, we got 150 miles to go but it's all back road drive. So I'm gonna stop here and whenever I can find a little mom and pa gas station or whatever and I'm gonna get some freaking food cause I'm just irritated and like dude, I just, there's nothing more that I want to like just go have a delivery in Kansas or Nebraska or Texas or anything in the Midwest, but this is like my fourth week in a row. Like I didn't even want to go to Georgia, but I was like, well, I need miles. So I took it and now, I don't know, whatever. I guess we're not going to Ohio at all. <laughs> we were supposed to go to Ohio then to New York, but apparently both of our deliveries are in New York and the first place is not gonna be fun, I can tell you that right now. Like, I think I probably have to back in off the road into their lot, <clears throat> would be my guess. I don't even know if that's possible, so. I guess we'll find out when we get there. I, and uh, I don't even think we can make it there tomorrow. It'd be like four o'clock in the afternoon if we made it there tomorrow, so. Is how you figure that <clears throat> as it says if i had hours right now i'd get there at 4 44 a.m eastern time if, that means if i just drove straight right now i'd be there at 4 44 a.m tomorrow how do you figure that uh, i guess it's already three three o'clock okay so <clears throat> then you had 10 hours to the top of that <clears throat> so that's like 3 p.m tomorrow delivery because I got to do a 10 hour break so I think it's probably because tomorrow's Tuesday so I think it's gonna be both of these will be delivered Wednesday and then hopefully Wednesday afternoon I can get a load and uh, get rolling there we'll see I'm thinking this will probably be a Wednesday morning delivery so we'll just see how it goes all right guys we're gonna try to see if we can find some free parking at this pilot here I still got an hour and 39 minutes of drive time um, but like I said, we can't make the delivery tomorrow. Like even if I get up at um, whatever to uh, go here, the odds aren't very likely that we'd make it there before our delivery. But I didn't realize this was this pilot, so I don't I don't even know if there's gonna be spots. This place normally fills up, so it's probably only paid remaining. It's If I can find one free, I'll do it, but actually, I have been here before, and right on this back side, normally these spots back here are normally open, so we're gonna see if I can grab one of those, because those are free. I did park here one time with CFI. I remember that now, but I don't remember what time I shut down, so like, because like here, uh, it's not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. I was gonna say, these spots are normally open. They were when I got here that one time. Is there one here? It's probably like two bobtails here. Pop trailer. 
and I go down and around. This guy passed me too, bro. Is this the only spot left that's free? Wait, I think that one's free. Oh, that one is free. Right there. It doesn't say reserved. I'm taking that. I guess there's spots right here. Just take this one. Can I get turned around here? Try to swing this out a little bit here. Let me set this off to the side here. Not the last free spot here, but they are getting pretty slim. Right there will work. All right, we're gonna do our post trip. We just drove four hours straight. I forgot that window's down. Um, yeah, and we have like 547 to go in the morning. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Morning guys, or good afternoon, I should say. Um, <laughs> it's like, uh, oh my gosh. It's like noon and uh, I just woke up. I had like a buddy from high school or not even just high school, like um, like pretty much middle school all the way to senior year. Um, we used to be pretty good friends and uh, he called me so we talked for like four hours on the phone last night and uh, I don't think I went to bed till like two in the morning, maybe even three or four. I don't, I don't even know. I just like, at one point I was like, dude, I gotta go to bed. But we had Arby's last night and they have boneless wings right now. They got buffalo and they got a honey spicy barbecue flavor. It's six, no, what is it? It's five wings with fries for $5 or nine wings without fries for $6. And I didn't know it was without fries, but I ordered the nine piece for $6. And I gotta say, those wings are actually pretty solid. I got the barbecue ones. And for $6 and you get nine wings, that's a steal. So Arby's is really like, I know some of you hate Arby's, but you really gotta give 
credit to Arby's because they offer, like they have the two for seven menu, you know, they have that special going on now. Like they have all this stuff. They have all this stuff that like just makes like eating on the road a little cheaper, you know, like Burger King doesn't have anything like that. They don't even allow coupons from the mobile app. Um, in the stores. Oh, I forgot. I'm like, I'm like, damn, dude, it's like nothing. So we're gonna drive up to the TA and Erie PA. That's kind of funny. And we're gonna shut down there. And then I'll give us about a hundred miles to go tomorrow. And we'll get up probably about seven and head on over yonder. And uh, yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say. So we're probably gonna knock out about 442 miles today. That take about seven hours, and uh, we'll knock it out. Um, also, I read some of the comments last night, and uh, someone said um, Jay doesn't realize getting low miles has to do with being late. Um, I do know what you're saying, but those low miles have had nothing to do with being late because I've had to be in the shop for the last three weeks. I had to get like one day of downtime to fix something and then I just been in a shitty area. Like tomorrow I'm probably gonna take, like even if, even if I get unloaded, like I have no appointment times tomorrow, right? Like the earliest I can deliver is 7 a.m. Which yes, I can be there at 7 a.m. but I don't have to be there at 7 a.m. I could be there at noon if I want, which obviously I'm not gonna do because I would like to get a decent load tomorrow. But I'm probably gonna deliver at like 8.30, something like that, get it unloaded, go to the next stop, unload. Like, that's not late. Like, there's a lot of deliveries here that have open windows. And I understand, yes, being later than the early time, like the earliest time, definitely cuts into your miles. But that's not the issue I'm having right now. Like right now, this week, I'm solid. Like, tomorrow's Wednesday. And I already have 1,500 miles for the week. Like, as long as I get a good load, um, like, sometime, like, dude, if I get a 500-mile load that deliver, picks up Wednesday, delivers Thursday morning, I'm at 2,000 miles. That still gives me two or three days to get a ton more. So, I don't know. It, it could be a really good week. It could, it could be a 3,000-mile week. We'll just see how it plays out. Like, if I get... If I get like a two, three hundred mile low, it's gonna kind of cut into it. That's where that's where the trouble is. That's how you get low miles. Is you get those two, three hundred mile loads, and you know you're just not efficient because you gotta wait like twelve hours to deliver, even though you can deliver it in the same day. Come on, everything is a okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven Come and ride with me, yeah, let me show you how I'm living Come on, 